today's dish we have my cucumber tuna mix roll-ups these are very delicious and so healthy so stay tuned if you're interested in this dish and don't forget guys enjoy so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and wash your cucumbers it, this is optional you don't have to do this since you are going to be peeling the skin but i just like to do this so i'm just going to go ahead and wash those all right here i have a peeler and i'm just going to go ahead and remove the skin off of my cucumbers you want to do this for both okay so I'm just cutting the ends of my cucumbers off and then I'm going to slice it in half so what you're trying to do is achieve something like this so you're able to roll it if you get what I mean so you want to be able to achieve something that you're able to roll almost like sushi rolls or even like this one so I'm going to show you the two different ways that I achieve both these Okay, so with my cucumber now, the first way I did this was you want to slice your cucumber in half and place the other half. And then slowly, you want to take your time and cut thin strips, as thin as you can get them. Don't go too fast, otherwise it will break. And you just want to go all the way through. And then once you are done, you'll see how thin and flexible this one is. And that way I can roll it once I add my stuffing inside. And it's perfect. That's one way to do it. Or another way is if you have a slicer or a apple peeler or fruit peeler, what you can go ahead and do with your more longer ones is you can go ahead and just go right through and shave off a piece. And then you see you'll achieve the same look and be able to roll it perfectly and you place it. And that's the way. So you want to go ahead and do this for as many cucumbers as you're making this dish for. Alright, so I just figured out an easier method to achieve them like this, which is a good length and width. And then they're easy to roll and they're nice and flexible. So what you want to do is take one of your longer pieces and then you just want to slice it in half, as neat of a half as you can get. And then once you have that now, you want to take your potato peeler and you just want to hold one end. And you want to hold it tight and then basically slice across. And then you see once you slice across, you'll achieve it. It takes a little bit of a practice to get the width. It will get bigger, but this is pretty good. And as you can see, it's nice and flexible. You don't want them too chunky, where as you see as this one, I'm trying to roll it. But because here is so thick and this part so thin, it just will eventually just break, even though this is still pretty good itself. And then you just want to do that for, for the rest of them. So straight across, and then you see the more I do it, the more I achieve that nice flexible look. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Okay, so for my inside filling, I'm using flake light tuna, and I'm also using flaked white tuna. I like to mix them up. I don't know why. It's just how it All right, so in my bowl, I have my tuna now, and now I'm going to go ahead and add some mayonnaise. So I'm just adding a tablespoon and a half of mayonnaise. And then I'm going to add some butter. So this is one teaspoon of butter. Then I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of black pepper on this, a bit of parsley. You can season yours however way you want to eat it. It's really up to you. And I'm just going to add a pinch of thyme flakes to this, just a pinch of thyme leaves. And then with a fork, what you want to do is mash this all together. Like you want to get into that. You want to make sure that you combine this nicely. So you want to take that time and put in that effort to mash it out. So it should be like super flaked. You shouldn't be seeing any of this different color. It should all be the same color by the time you are finished. So I'm going to work this for about a whole minute. Yep, I'm going to put that minute into it. That's where you're going to get that fluffy, moist texture that you're looking for. So I'm going to work this and come back. So after I'm done mixing this together, what you want to do is microwave this for about a minute. So while that's going, I have a tomato and I have a piece of lettuce here. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut half of my tomatoes. Okay, our tuna is ready. And then you want to cut this up as fine, as chunky, as big as you want it. It really depends in any shape that you want it to be in your tuna. So I'm going to cut mine up really small. So about that is good. And then I'm going to also cut up my lettuce. All right, so I've just taken out my tuna, and as you can see, it looks nice and soft. So I'm going to go ahead and add my tomatoes to this. 
and then you want to combine that nicely so you want to give it another good mix all right so once you're done you want to just line a plate with some of your cucumber rolls now And then you slowly just want to bring together some of your tuna mixture and you just want to slowly add that to it. And then you can add bits and pieces of lettuce right on top. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. It's really how much you want to see on there. And then you just slowly want to roll. So you want to start from underneath slowly and then you just want to roll this now. And then once you're done, you have your tuna roll there. And what you can do, if you want to keep it pasted, you can even add a little bit more tuna here to keep it closed. Or something sticky, like some sort of sauce that's sticky, which will keep this part closed. And then you just want to go ahead and repeat the same steps for the rest of them. And we're going to add a little bit of lettuce onto that. And then you want to just slowly roll, slowly. It's okay if some falls out, there's nothing wrong with that. And then you want to place them side by side. And then you're done. They're delicious and they're healthy. Enjoy. Alright guys, that is the end of the finished dish. I hope you guys enjoy and don't forget guys, try it out. You won't be sorry. So see you for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.